Livestock World presents episode one of Barnes from Gray Show Cattle in Danforth, Illinois, with their manager, Kurt Meyer. Kurt Meyer here at Gray Show Cattle. We're really excited to have Chris Tremis, the anchor man out from Virginia. We're going to take this time to show you through our facilities. So come on in. Well, as you can see, this here is our clipping room. This is where all the match captains uh, had several state, national, even down to the local county through here. Um, like I said earlier, we do it all. So we try to take care of you the best we can. So a lot of times we'll bring the cattle in for people before state fair and clip them here and you know do the whole nine yards for you. So this, this is where it all happens right here. This is the main part of our barn. And here come about another month, 1st of July. We'll have approximately 40 head of cattle in here. Um, uh, me and another handful of guys will be taking care of them all day, breaking them, rinsing them, blowing them, you name it. Uh, this is where it all happens. This is where the hard work goes down. And this is where, uh, you know, we try to make them look as good as we can. But here's basically a, the whole working facility, the pins. Uh, we've got a blowout area over here that we'll probably show later. And, uh, you know, we try to make it as best we can. I think it's a pretty nice facility. So I just wanted to show you guys. As you can see here, this is our blowout pin. This is, uh, well, don't want to say my pride and joy because I don't enjoy it that much. But uh, I, uh, it works pretty good. Um, I, we couldn't do it without it. We can fit approximately four babies in here at a time and got the double blowers going on them and we can fly through them pretty good when we get a crew going. And like I said, there's no way we can do without it. It works good. We even, here it comes soon, we're gonna have some lights and we do some clipping in here and stuff like that. So it works out real good and um, it's a lifesaver. This here's our wash rack slash work and shoot. Uh, we can tie a couple babies up once they get pretty broke. Um, by the time sale comes around, they're all show broke, damn near. Um, this here's our work and shoot where we'll run them through for the first couple weeks and get them used to the routine. Uh, we got some double blowers in here, and all oh, this works out pretty good. And uh, as he's panning around, attached to it is uh, our actual cooler room. Um, this is where we keep, you know, anywhere from fat cattle in the summer to bred heifers getting ready for state fairs, Louisville, etc. Um, so as you can see, there's nothing in it now, but soon to be there will be uh, some cattle in there getting ready for some shows. This is directly behind the barn. These are our lots. The cattle come in at nights. Uh, we got five different runs where we can kind of sort them up by groups and different feeding schedules, etc. Um, works out pretty good. And then behind them, uh, we got two show pens where the cattle will be um, on in the month of September when we're showing them for families coming in and looking. These are the ladies of Gray Show Cattle here. Uh, we got several donors out here. Uh, several sale cattle that will be featured on the sale here coming in September. Um, I think we, we don't have a whole lot of numbers, but I think we try to do the best with what we can. And, uh, you know, several old show prospects that Zach had the privilege of showing throughout the years. And uh, I think we got a heck of a set of cattle for the few numbers that we have. I want to thank Chris again for coming out. Really appreciate letting us throw you show you through the barn. But for now, I got work to do. So, Chris, you got to get out of here.